everyone, and welcome to the Brainy Buzz channel. In today's video, we're going to learn about 7 dating tips for introverts who are tired of being single forever. So make sure to watch the full video. Dating in online swipe culture can feel especially challenging for us introverts, given our temperaments. And dating's never easy anyway, with or without an app, even though there are some great ones out there including ones based on your Myers-Briggs personality type. Many introverts, myself included, feel the pressure to reduce descriptions of ourselves into neat, compact, and self-marketing little bundles. We might feel like we must be on in order for people to feel attraction or connection, which can take significant energy. We may also feel discouraged from being our authentic selves and experiencing our usual human range of emotions. In essence, Dating can feel like a performance. Like all people though, we are deserving of love and connection. Here are some things to keep in mind for any introvert navigating the world of modern dating. 1. Come prepared with good questions. Often during first date conversations, people are merely reacting more than truly responding. Even though many ideas, especially more complex ones, take time to process. We introverts may not feel we have time to do this, under the pressure of a first-time interaction, where silences are viewed as the awkward conversation killer to be avoided at all costs. We're not in our element, and our best qualities, the ability to be thoughtful, methodical, and listen, feel less appreciated and validated. 2. Choose an apt environment. Many people, especially introverts, can draw upon an understanding of environmental psychology to optimize their experience in social settings, dates included. Awareness of environmental factors can lend insight into why we might be feeling or behaving a certain way. For example, maybe you see a plant with long green leaves between two bottles of Smirnoff on the shelf behind the bartender's head. Or you notice an orange candle flickering on the black circular table next to you. Or you see that there are purple cushions covering the vintage wooden bar stools. By focusing on the concrete, You'll clear space in your mind and be in a better place to take in what your date is saying. If you're still watching then please likes, share the video, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Ok, let's continue with the next tip. 4. Do a shared activity to get out of your overthinking head. At the beginning stages of forming a connection, two people are guarding this precious little flame, our hearts and souls, that burns within us. Connection happens when the two flames come together, but both people's shields have to be down in order for this to happen. Lowering those shields can be hard for introverts. It is for me, at least. Plus, we introverts love to overthink. Are they having fun? Are we talking enough? Did they laugh at our last joke? So doing something helps remove some of this pressure. Focusing on an external activity can help. You can focus on the activity which takes pressure off the date itself. One time on a date, we dug for acorns in Sonoma to help with the replanting of trees after the distort fires. Other dates have included kayaking, picking blackberries, and petting cats at a cat cafe. Picking an activity you're passionate about will allow you to be more comfortable, which will make you feel more confident and at ease. I find I'm less worried about how I'm coming across when I'm genuinely enjoying what we are doing. Five consider other ways to meet someone, so the connection can grow more organically, aside from dating apps. we have relied on dating apps since the age of 18, since as an LGBT person, it's difficult to meet other gay people out in the wild. I often blend in and pass as straight, yet, on apps, I often feel the pressure to make quick decisions about whether or not I'm attracted enough to someone. Plus, it's harder for the slow burn attractions to grow. Other ways to meet someone may suit you more as an introvert. Generally, groups and communal activities, like a friend's birthday party, can be a way to meet people without the pressure to feel attraction right away. The connections can unfold more organically that way. 6. If you do meet on an app, don't spend too much time communicating over text or email before meeting in person. When I first started online dating, I spent a large amount of time exchanging personal information back and forth in lengthy messages with prospective partners before meeting. It's hard because, if you're anything like me, you not only love writing, but find immense catharsis in it. Writing is a refuge for me. 
It's a medium that affords me utmost control and a place where I often feel I can be my authentic self. I'm more comfortable writing versus being in an overstimulating public place with a brand new person. That said, getting to know someone through writing naturally appeals to me. After several negative experiences, though, I've learned that resisting this impulse leads to less disappointment later on. The way I've come to see it is that the amount of time dedicated to written correspondence is directly proportional to the amount of disappointment you'll feel when things don't work out or when the person is not who you thought they'd be. 7. Be aware of fantasy relationships. Experiences have taught me that practice too early on before trust and a foundation have been established. Excessive written contact can also fuel the engine of fantasy relationships. Introverts tend to have rich fantasy lives. It's one of our superpowers. So often we fill in the missing spaces and unknowns with our own details. This can lead to feeling let down when the in-person counterpart fails to match up to whatever idealized version our mind has concocted. For instance, in writing and on the phone, maybe you bonded over what you thought was a shared passion for dogs. But then, in person, it becomes apparent that their interest is only passing and tepid, and that they only volunteered at a shelter once. Thank you for watching the Brainy Buzz. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to click notification bell for more.